this high in the tree is just not pretty. No, no, no. There's no but interest to it. When you were carving and you started in the back, so what happened if you turned the tree around? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, once you get into it, you get a little bit better. So by the time you get to the front, then you're confident to continue. Four. Instead of using the hand cooler? Um, Dremel tool would be the tool I would use. Yeah, that would have been easier. Is it because he doesn't have one right now? <laughs> yeah. It's also a big mess. Yeah, I just, it, it's a, like a little hook kind of thing. Yeah, I could like to figure it out, Jeremy. Okay, so that's got enough taper. All right, how tall do you think it should be? Chop it. Yeah, where though? Here? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yep. Here? No. no. About two thirds. Shorter. Maybe. Remember, we're doing a tall tree, we're not doing a short, wide one. Alright, I guess let's wire a little bit. That'll give me some chance to decide what I want to do. It doesn't matter if you leave any branches, does it? You just chop it wherever you please? Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I, in many cases, I would have cut all the branches off and not kept anything. Because they're not really in a great position. And the other thing is, when they grow up like that, it's hard to get that angle downward when they're already up this way. So what you get is up and then down kind of thing. It doesn't always look that good. But this one, I think I can get it down that angle. The most important part of a branch is that first inch or so. The orientation of that is so important. After that, it's all clip and grow crap. But this portion right here, if you don't have it in the right position when you are working on it, it'll never get, well, it's hard to get it better. So what you want to do is start off with it correctly in the, in the, at the beginning. So what kind of degree of angle would you say that would be to be correct on the branch, in the trunk of the branch? I don't know. Whatever looks good. Let me rephrase that. Everybody's different. Is that correct in your estimate? This one? Yes. Hell no. So, so it's sticking up. It, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. Young trees look like this, except if we're trying to do the, the flat top. Right. But flat tops don't start down at the bottom, they start up in here. And we might have, I, mean, I didn't even think about that, we might have been able to do like a, a flat top look. Me personally, I just, I don't, this is not the tree to do it with, I, I, didn't, I didn't think. Generally, with a flat top, it's not as much taper all the way up. It's a little more narrow, a little straighter. Hmm. And I, you know, I've been doing this a bunch of years, and I've yet to make a flat top yet uh, look look right. So I'm sure I could eventually, but I haven't yet. I think your methodology may not be best for the creation of the flat top. You have to have the right material to do a flat top. It's not methodology. Right. It's flat material. tops don't generally look like fat squatty trees. Right. You're correct about that. I, I just uh, kayak uh, down Silver Spring. Oh. <laughs> starting at the top, going down, and I took pictures of all the old growth small cycles uh -huh. that I can see. And I think I've got a picture of an excellent flat top. I was going to try to use it as a model. <laughs> well, that, I'm looking to send that book around. Look at the one that Van Bonting. Be careful of the book, it's real old. Um, <laughs> Put your gloves on. No, I mean, if you pop it open, I mean. The, the binder might pop over on you. Yeah, if you got grubby fingers, and wash your hands too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I am not known for my wiring. So if you critique me, I'm going to tell you to bite it. 
<laughs> and I will not put a lot of wiggle in this. This is a straight tree. Mm -hmm. If you put a bunch of wiggles in it, it doesn't look right. Yeah. The, the branches have to look like they come from the right tree, from the same tree. Mm -hmm. So this tree is very straight. So the branches should be fairly straight. And then folks know the pattern of one branch on one side, back branch, one branch on the other side, and work your way up. I don't like that one, but I don't have much space in between them. Yeah. And most likely, there's going to be some more branches popping off of this, and you may have some better selections in the future, too. be in training for? Three to five years for three, three to five? Yeah. And actually this could go into a bonsai pot this year I'd imagine if you wanted to. Yeah, it looks like it's got pretty decent roots in there. It's a little wobbly but it doesn't uh, look too bad. What I typically do on the side branches is I'll leave them long until they get the right thickness and then I'll cut them off to about maybe an inch or two long and then let those side branches, those other branches come out, wire them in and then do the same thing year after year after year. And then how big is the branch supposed to be on the side? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever looks good. There's a point where it becomes too big for sure. There's a point where it's too small, it doesn't look big enough. I would say it doesn't look big enough right now, me personally. Yeah, no. Well, that was dead. Ooh, rats. That was my favorite branch. That was a dead one, too. You just put all the other ones off around it, no? There wasn't anything else, so that one. I guess I should have paid attention. Make sure is that one alive? Yeah, that's alive. Folks know how to determine if a branch is alive or dead. Not Scrape it. Cypress, no. Scrape it, and uh, it should look green where you scraped. If it's brown, it's dead. Mm -hmm. That's that's true with any tree. Oh, the tree only had a cypress die. <laughs> <laughs> You know, they're saying it's great, but it doesn't look green. It's like, I mean, not what you would think green looks like, but it could be. So that was a little confusing to figure out. It was very clever. It was dead. It was dead. It was But see, that's the thing. You get that thinness, and it makes you almost really fresh. Yep, that's it. Barely visible, too. <laughs> yeah, it's a little different on some. And then also the pliability. You'll, you'll feel it in the pliability of the, yeah. A, a dead one, it'll snap real easily, where the, the green one will be a Shit, that one's broken too. That's dead too. Wow. Your demo might be over. <laughs> I don't have any branches. Yeah. Yeah. Get that saw. Yeah, we'll go through different ones, sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's probably easier to go through each one, and that way you have a bunch of different lessons. Exactly. Okay, cool. All right, so here's the challenge. Um, 
we have a, a section here that there's no branches on. We need branches there. So if I leave a lot of this branching at the top, the energy are going to go into those branches and not into producing new ones where we want them. So what I'm going to do is cut everything else off, and whoever gets this is going to have to start growing the side branches. Except the top of the What's that? Except the, the apex. Well, I have, I'm not sure where I'm going to go on that, how far that's going to be. But yeah, all the side branches I'm going to, going to cut off. Because if we let these grow, these are already ahead of branches we want below. Yeah. So we're always going to keep having to hold them back. So if we just cut them off now, we'll get rid of them. Trust me, they're going to pop out. They're going to do plenty. Cut the trunk off right above those two branches. Well, if this becomes yours, you can do with it what you will. Not this one. Huh? Not this one. Cutting this stuff off here won't. What's all those branches in the middle of the design? Yeah. What's that? What does all those branches in the middle of the design? Um, probably here, lack of water or too much growth here. Mm -hmm. when, when you have so much growth here, it shades out this, and so stuff below is going to die. There's only so much energy and activity that you're going to that's going to happen in a pot. So. This is where the energy was here, and it took yeah. all the energy away from here, so these guys died off. The whole middle of that tree looks like it's not good. It can't be dead, but... Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, what is our intervals? All right, this is probably an you interval. Two of it, you got three inches there? Yeah, that's probably an interval of thickness. Yeah. Here's probably an interval of thickness. Now here's an interval. So this interval is this long. This is shorter, so we're good. Short? Yeah. yeah. Right. And remember, we're going to have stuff popping off here. This is not the finished product. We're going to get another level of taper. So which way should the taper go? Which way is the next branch should go? Should it go to the right or should it go to the left? This will all come in, no problem. Yeah, but I mean, can you tell? Can you tell right now? Mm -hmm. Which way do you want it to go? Which Your way? Choice. What type of tree do you want it to go? Do you Your want choice. it to be an informal upright, or do you want it to be a slanting? If I think Either or. The sun gets it up, right? Stick it on our left. You get out think that the sun's starting on our left and ending on our right. You can't hit the branches and the slants. So that's what the fold should be on the left side. If you're rolling up right, you're going to have to bring the apex back over the center one more time. That side. What I, what I typically will do is I'll make my hand go this way, and then it goes this way, so what's the next one that way? So your next one wants to go that way. Otherwise, it's going to be like this. All right, so this one's done.